One day Ananda asked Buddha that when some ignorant fellows come and insult you, why you remain silent? And Buddha gave a beautiful answer. Buddha said, insulting me, hurting me is his suchness. That was his way of behaving. It was my suchness to remain silent. I am not holier than that man. I am not higher than that man. It is just that my suchness is different from the suchness of that man. This suchness is our nature and our nature differs. In astrology, the nature is signified by ascendant. Swabhav. It is said that there is no medicine for nature. You cannot change the nature of a person. And that is why the ascendant, the nature of the ascendant always remains. Suchness is our self nature. Just the way a river flows towards the ocean. Just the way fire is hot. That is its suchness. Gautam Buddha introduced the philosophy of Tathat and Tathat is very close to the English word suchness. Whatever happens, Buddha says, such is the nature of the thing, suchness. There is no need to be happy. There is no need to be miserable. There is no need to get affected by anything that happens in your life. Birth happens, death happens, but you have to remain in suchness. Remembering that this is how life functions. This is the very way of life. There is not even a question of accepting or rejecting. You have to remain in suchness. Tathat. Buddha said to Ananda, once I was passing through a forest and a branch fell on me. What do you think? Should I beat the branch because it fell on me? Should I hurt the branch because it fell on me? Ananda said, what is the point in beating the branch? It had no desire to hurt you. It just fell by accident. Buddha said, if somebody insults me, if somebody hurts me through their comments or through their actions, then that is also the same. I simply happened to be there and the man was full of anger. If I had not been there, then the same man would have been angry with somebody else. It was his nature. He was following his nature and I am following my nature. When you become in tune with your self nature, then nobody can disturb you because then you are rooted within. And that is the message of Buddha that remain rooted within, stay focused within. Because when you are moving through this human world, it is very natural that you will come across many negative men and women and they will try to hurt you. By hurting you, they are creating a new vicious circle for themselves a new bad karma for themselves. So they are going to suffer. But if you react to their comments, then you are also falling in the same vicious circle.
सो इट इज ऑलवेज वाइज टू इग्नोर सच नेगेटिव मैन एंड वुमन एंड देर कमेंट्स एज बुद्धा सेज इट इज देर सच नेस टू हर्ट अदर्स टू ऑफेंड अदर्स बट यू शुड नॉट फॉरगेट योर सच नेस इफ यू आर अ मेडिटेटिव पर्सन If you are a man of depth then you should remain silent and you should not react In Bhagavad Gita Lord Krishna asks Arjuna to follow swadharma what is swadharma following your self nature is swadharma swa is a sanskrit word meaning self and dharma means religion self religion is swadharma and always remember swadharma has nothing to do with following a certain religion it simply has to do with your self nature to reach your own self nature is the only religion to become that which you are already are is the only religion that is why lord krishna has emphasized on swadharma self religion swadharma or self religion has nothing to do with following any religion the real meaning of swadharma is to settle in your own self nature people often take the meaning of self religion as following their own religion but that is wrong the real meaning of swadharma is that you should not deviate from that which is within you and what is within you within you is the consciousness so you should focus on being with your consciousness that is the true meaning of following swadharma always remember you are not the mind you are the self the consciousness and that is why bhagwan raman maharshi says that the nature of the mind is to wander but you are not the mind always remember the mind always likes to react that is how the nature of the mind is to react somebody hurts you and you immediately react and then you fall in that vicious cycle that is how you get trapped because the nature of the mind is to react and if you are following your mind if you have become a slave of your mind then you are a very easy target for your enemy for those who hate you for those who want to finish you and that is why buddha says that rule over your mind else the mind will rule you and when mind starts ruling you then your life starts becoming more and more miserable and so buddha 
never reacts to the insult he says to insult me is his suchness it is his nature however to not to react and to remain silent is my nature and that makes buddha one of the greatest spiritual master that this world has ever known gautam buddha was born on a full moon day so in case if you have a myth that if you are born on a full moon day then there is some problem then that is wrong because many great souls are born on a full moon day and in this podcast i am sharing certain insights on the significance of full moon day and how it relates with gautam buddha so let's begin gautam buddha was born on a full moon day and gautam buddha attained enlightenment on a full moon day the significance of full moon is immense gautam buddha's whole life is connected with the full moon he was born on a full moon he became enlightened on the full moon night he died on the full moon night this cannot be just coincidence and now psychologists have been studying the effects of the full moon on the human psyche and the results are staggering on a full moon day you become more spirited full moon night does something to the human psyche since the very beginning it has been affecting the poets the painters the sculptors the musicians the dancers the actors and the spiritualists there is something different under the full moon that perhaps the rays of the full moon are hand in hand the distance is far but the closeness the intimacy is still felt in zen buddhism the full moon has become something special because everything that happened to buddha happened on the full moon night so in every zen monastery on the full moon night people just sit under their trees and watch the full moon the full moon has become symbolically connected with gautam buddha and just watching and witnessing the full moon they enter into deep meditation among all the enlightened ones gautam the buddha is very special to me gautam buddha is the most beautiful man who once walked on this planet h g wells in his world history has written one sentence which should be written in gold writing about gautam buddha he writes gautam buddha is perhaps the only godless man and yet so godly when moon is in capricorn sign then it is already a spiritual indication provided sun moon and mars are well connected to spiritual points in the birth chart and make it a full moon and you have an icing on the cake but the story is not yet over the whole story of spirituality can be missed when rahu the demonic energy comes in between so one has to see if the horoscope is inclined towards a rahuish trend or a ketuish trend the latter is good for spiritual progress ketu is excellent for spiritual progress ketu is not seeking remember this realize this 
श्री केतु इज नॉट सर्चिंग नॉट डिजायरिंग नॉट लुकिंग फॉर एनी थिंग इट सिंपली इज रिलैक्सिंग एंड इट इज ओनली वेन यू रिलैक्स दैट इट कम्स दैट द डिवाइन फ्लोज थ्रू यू दैट इज द ओनली मोमेंट वेन यू ट्रूली एक्सपीरियंस गॉड बुद्धा डज नॉट गिव यू एनी रिलीजियस एजुकेशन He wants you simply to be yourself whatever it is that is your religion to be yourself no man has loved freedom so much no man has loved mankind so much he would not accept followers for the simple reason that to accept a follower is to destroy his dignity he accepted only fellow travelers His last statement before dying was If I ever come back I will come as your friend And so my word to all my fellow travelers is this Do not try to become just be yourself just relax just accept yourself in totality you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to seek anything just be rooted within for god is not up in the sky god dwells within you turn inwards meditate and live in total acceptance love and compassion are the natural expression of our inner transformation we can meditate with buddha dance with krishna and celebrate our love with the sufis you don't have to become a buddhist to understand buddha you don't have to become a christian to understand jesus you don't have to become a hindu to understand krishna and you don't have to become a muslim to understand the prophet just let understanding be your only law buddha is not a name it is a title it is a state of enlightenment anyone irrespective of your religion can be a buddha to attain buddhahood you need not be a buddhist you just have to understand yourself you just have to understand gautam buddha i am a hindu i am a hindu brahmin and still i have immense respect love for gautam buddha i just love this man who walked on this planet and so here i share a beautiful quote that i very deeply resonate with a quote of osho I love Gautam the Buddha because he represents to me the essential core of religion. He is the beginner of a totally different kind of religion in the world. He has propounded not religion but religiousness and this is a great radical change in the history of human consciousness. Full moon is Buddha Buddha is the full moon and therefore the full moon has become synonymous with the essence of spiritualism and hence your question of full moon has also the fragrance of spiritualism love to all my listeners remember to meditate every day and chant the holy mantra jai shri ganesha jai guru ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम 
गणपत नमः